welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new today i'm going to be showing you how i did this claw clip hairstyle on blown out hair and the reason why my hair is blown out and i'm doing it on blown out hair is because i was doing a flexi rod set that night but i was going out um during the day so i needed to preserve this blowout so i don't have to blow out my hair again um but i also wanted it to like look more presentable than how it was looking because um, I feel like since I've dyed my hair, I really need to pay attention to the front of my hair more. Like when my hair is like just jet black, it could look however, but I feel like I need to put a little effort into making it look a little bit more presentable. Um, so I take this flat iron, I put heat protectant um, on my edges and my nape, and I'm taking this little pencil flat iron that I actually bought for a frontal, but I didn't end up like using it properly. I was trying to do like the Jada Weta, um what is it called, baby hair tutorial that I saw on Instagram. I guess it, it came out pretty well, but I'll probably stick to my Eagle Style gel, but. Um, <laughs> so here I just pulled out the front of my hair to give me like, I don't even know what these are called. Like these two little hairs we're always pulling out when we're doing hairstyles, maybe it's like fallout hair, I don't know. But I took that out, I put it in a loose twist so I won't have to straighten it too much again, but I put like a little soft curl in that. I don't know why I did that if everything is straight. But anywho, I took a little bit of edge control um, to hold the front of my hair and the back of my hair in place. This worked pretty well because I was doing a hairstyle on my hair. I normally like to do this anyway before I put in like a braid, in, a braid out or flexi rod set. Um, so it worked well because I was, you know, basically laying my edges throughout the day. Um, so I combed that in, put my hair in a pretty tight ponytail, but not like too tight where you actually like see the tension of the hair because that's not the cutest look. But um, I put it as tight as possible without that tension effect. I twisted up like the ponytail and just clipped my hair in place. I think I got this clip from TJ Maxx or like Marshalls or one of those places. And it's super cute. No, I lied, I got it from Walgreens. And it's super cute. Um, I wanted to try out this hairstyle um, actually on curly hair and I haven't tried that yet. So when I do, I'll, I'll upload that. But um. This on blown out hair turned out to be the only hairstyle I could think of. After this, I just continue to make sure that line is pretty straight. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it does look good if it's pretty crisp. And then I put this little edge scarf on, laid my edges, and then I just continued slicking my hair down. And that was pretty much it. So once I took down my scarf, I was just um, meddling with those little leave out parts in the front uh, just to get the curls to fall how I wanted. And this is optional, an optional little tip. You could put a little bit of edge control on one of your fingers and then when you're twirling it around, it'll kind of like leave it in place. And it lasted all day and it was, it was a vibe. I definitely will do this hairstyle again. And this is the finished result. Thank you for watching and I will catch you in my next one. Bye.